Hello and welcome. This is the last part of my three part tutorial series on how to create a gun movie on a budget. This has only been covering the special effects portion and very little of it. Hopefully I'll be covering more aspects of making an action movie in the future, but for now I'll just stick to this. So in this last part, we'll be covering on how to put everything we've made together into one final package. It'll look a bit like that. Looks pretty good. So, let's get right into it. What we're going to do, I'm going to use After Effects, and you can do this in many other programs such as HitFilm or even your editing program if it's good enough. So, after you've imported your footage, which I've already done, just grab it, put it into a new comp, like that. So, let's find the spot where I pull the trigger. There we are. You know what? Maybe even like there. No, no, it's like right there. Let's grab a muzzle flash. That looks pretty. Oh, don't want to do that. And by the way, if you're not using After Effects or a program that can open PSD files, um, after you've created your files in GIMP, you're just going to want to export each image as a JPEG instead of exporting the entire project as one giant file. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I is I've got it. Now we're just gonna move it over. It's already aligned, but I think I'll press R. I'm gonna align it a little better. And I'm gonna press S, maybe change the scaling just a tad. Now right click, go to blending mode, add. View in full resolution. Looks pretty good. So, we've got that. Now we're going to make the flash. So, press Ctrl D on the background footage. Press Ctrl Shift D. We're going to cut it. Do the same thing two frames later, right here. So, now we have nothing. So, we got to go to blending mode, add again. And we're going to use the little pen tool. Make a mask of the area where the light would really just shine brightly. And it might make a little bit of a glow on my arms, I don't know. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to press F, go into feathering. Feather it a ton. And if you have to, you can press T and bring down the opacity if you really have to. In this case, we don't need to. So, well, look at that, we're already in opacity. So, if you're not already, press T, T, get into opacity, click the little stopwatch, go to the end of your clip, bring it down all the way. So, there we go. Not bad. So, now we're going to get some smoke. Drag in your smoke footage. Now I just combined all my smoke clips into one giant movie, 7.3 gigabytes, a little scary. Um, looks good, just control shift D, cut it, let's go to the end of the clip, about here, control shift D, cut it again, go back a ways, press T. Click the stopwatch, go to the end of click, set click, and just bring down the opacity. Now, right click, go to blending mode, screen. Now, if you wanted to, you could go over here, if you were doing blood, and you could add a tint effect, make it red, change the blending mode to add, and you'd have blood. But, we're not doing that doing smoke for a gun. So, let's press R. We're going to rotate it to match the barrel. Scale it up by pressing S. There we are. And, this is probably going to play back a little slow since I scaled it up, so I'm going to go to time. Time stretch. See how it's at 100%? I'm going to bring it down to about 65. So, it's going to play back at about 65%. Let's 
change that. There we go. Now, if you were using like a shotgun or a sniper or even a single fire gun like an AK-47, you'd be done. But we're using a pistol that doesn't have a gas black blowback slider. So we are going to have to change that. So press Control D. We're gonna duplicate the footage. Bring it down. I want to take it apart. Now right click it. Go to Time, freeze frame. I'm just gonna kind of cut out the general shape of the barrel. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be blurred a lot by the end. There we go. Back. Fast blur. There we go. Let's go frame forward just for the heck of it. Take that off. Let's bring it up. Oh, go right here to blur dimensions. Bring it only to horizontal. There we go. Now, if you hadn't recorded any background footage, or maybe you just have a really fast paced moving shot, you can always bring this into GIMP or Photoshop. I'm terrible at these, sorry. Um, and you can just kind of paint out a general area of where the gun would no longer be. So like right here, you kind of paint it out right here. But I was lucky enough to have done that. So press Control D. Right click, go to time, freeze frame. Bring that over. Okay. Here we are. Now, we're going to cut out the spot where we would no longer see the gun. So, like that. And... Like that. Now, we're going to press F. And we're going to go to about, not 85, 5 on both. There we go. And that is pretty much it. And as you can see, since it's only one frame for the blowback, it actually looks really good. You don't have to worry about any sort of animation. It just goes so fast, it kind of looks like it's automatically animating itself. Really nice. And there you go. Got yourself a really nice muzzle flash for free from scratch. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope I was understandable. <laughs> um, yeah, have a great day.